Okay, we're back again. So as promised, I thought I'd do a little walkthrough for the Civit AI LoRa trainer. So this is going to be uh, hopefully a quick one. So first thing to point out is I'm using my test data set. So that's Decra and Assassin Carb. Okay, you can get both of these on my GitHub. Links will be in the description. And it's essentially a folder with images in pairs. There's like 11 of them, I think. Let's have a look. 9, 10, 12, and there's no zero. So, yeah, okay. So, uh, so let's get started. We head over to Civit, we log in, and we go to create trainer Laura. I've already got some buzz. Um, hopefully, it says zero now. It's a bit scary. So, I'm going to go with style again, and I'm going to call it assassin carb. Oh, no. And then add the training data. Now, da, 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 drag images and files. Now, what I did was I just put all, I just dragged all of the images from the unzip and pushed them in like that. Nought of 11 captioned. Hmm. Hmm. What happened there then? JPEG WebP, blah, 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 blah. Okay, right. Hang on. Reset. Confirm. I think I've got to do the zip then. So in that case, I will zip up the folder. So I just, there's the folder with my images and text files. There's the zip file. Let's see how that goes. 11 of 11 captions, see? See, before, when I dragged in all of the files, it didn't take the text files. But when I used a zip, that works. So that's number one. Number two is I'm going to go auto tag. I'm going to say append because I've already captioned it, but I don't mind adding a bunch of stuff which it thinks it might be uh, seeing. So let's give it a go. So I'm going to leave it on defaults and just let it do it. And then I'm just going to give a, give a look and see what it's done. So blah, 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 blah. The two, well, that was image number two. Usually it doesn't read numbers, so I don't really mind about it being there. See where it says one boy? I'm going to change that to man. And then here, I'm going to say this. Man. So I'm just going to go through and edit all of the tags. Uh, because I know that one man is a reference that won't make any sense when we're actually doing our generations in SDXL. It might work for 1.5, but as far as I know, it's not going to uh, take any notice of the numbers. Men, my men. Listen, men. All right, man. Okay. These are my images. I'm not interested in sharing the data set, really. Uh, it's already shared, though, so I don't care, actually. It's already out. You can get it on GitHub. So let's just take a little review here. Let's go back to the page. So we've done our captioning. We've enhanced the captions with some auto caption tags. We've said yes. And so now let's go to the next page. All right, so now we get to review. The name is Assassin Carb. The style is a style. Type is a style. Images eleven. Captions eleven. Looks good. I'm going to use SDXL standard and sample image prompts. I don't bother with sample image prompts, but it's automatically set, so it should be using my tags. Training parameters. Now let's have a look at these. I'm not going to change them because I find this is pretty good. 10 epochs, 19 repeats, uh, batch size 4 at 1024. It's a LoRa. Clip skip 1. Learning rate is... Is that 5e4? 5e4, maybe? Text encoder is a little bit more, or a little bit less, rather. Cosine with restarts. Three cycles, five SNR gamma. I usually use three. 32, 16. Yeah, yeah that's what I use. 
offset noise of 0 0.1, I usually go 0 0.0357 and Ada factor. And I've been experimenting mostly with um, Prodigy. So what we'll do is we'll actually do this again with Prodigy and we can compare the two, just like we did with one trainer. So there'll be a link in the description to the one trainer study that used this because we did it in depth. So it'll be very interesting to see how this comes out. So this is going to take about an hour and it's going to cost me 500 buzz. So I might just, can I change? Well, I can always just annotate it when it's done. So basically this is the Ada Factor version and let's get started. Off it goes. You get buzz from doing things like rating other people's pictures and commenting. So it's quite easy to get enough training credits to train for free. So I would say if you're active in this AI community, it's not going to be uh, difficult to earn points as, su as such. And I think you can buy them. I don't know what the actual price is, come to think of it. Do I have like a, is it in a buzz dashboard? Purchase buzz. Mm, purchase. Purchase buzz, how much is it? So you get 10,000 buzz for $10. So that really is worth about eight pounds. All of the stuff I've got. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, and it, apparently here you go, you get 10,000 buzz with a $10 membership and you get a whole bunch of extra stuff. So... This is actually looking like pretty good value. I mean, I I I need to do more testing because obviously 500 buzz for 11 images doesn't seem like a lot, but if you have a lot of them, I want to know what the limit is. But we'll we'll get there. So while it's training, I'm going to set up the next one. So do 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 trainer Laura right style and then we'll say decra. And then we're going to do the same thing. So what I did was I downloaded the Decra data set from my GitHub, unzipped it, checked this is the actual files. So we're going to zip this and upload this. So that is a zip containing the images and the tags. Okay. Now the interesting thing is the assassin carb data set is tagged with the same tags for every image. Obviously we've done this append thing, but it's about t caption complexity. So the only complexity in the tags there is coming from the auto, the auto tagger built into civet. So any improvements we see are the, from that with this one though, it's a much more complex. Each image has its own more complex structure, which we're going to append on top of. So we're still going to do the append. And then we're going to obviously do the same thing. We're going to check that it doesn't say one boy. It says man. Strange. Man, 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 man. So yeah, just double check the captions. And, uh, this is public domain. These images are public domain, like 17 something. So I, I don't, I don't necessarily own them, but they are public. It's public domain. So off we go. Everyone owns them. Classic stuff. It's definitely outside a hundred years. That's for sure. So we're going to do this on SDXL, just review all of the things, sample prompts, training parameters. Again, I'm just going to leave this default. Looks like it's automatically scaling according to the number of images, which is nice. Again, these are the things which catch people out. And so one of the reasons I want to show people is like, you know, yes, you can get more control with one trainer and with collabs and with other uh, training tools like, uh, you know, Koya's SS and all those GUIs. But if you just have some images, you want to make a model and make some more images, this is, as, you know, you can do this. So hang on, we don't need this on the screen right now. There we go. So you can do this. Uh, all you needed was images paired. We've gone over this before. Image with a descriptor. Okay. So you have your image. And then you have, with the same file name, matching pairs, 
the this description of you know what it is and i use a root structure which i then add to with a pending auto tagging so the auto tag is pretty good so we're going to submit this one off it goes okay now you're probably wondering now where is that stuff so if you go to uh, your profile and you click on models then you'll notice published draft training so if we go to training which is where we're at this is what we're going to see okay so I will continue when it's done but what we're going to do is we're going to visit the page for the model all training blah 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 and we're not going to do a post at the end we're just going to download it okay now obviously you could you could just post it and I did do that with the first one the uh, Helldivers 2 Laura I, I did post it up on the just straight from here So it's been an hour and now our model is ready. So let's take a look at the career. So first thing is, um, if you wanted to publish your model publicly, we can just continue this wizard. Okay, give it a name, give it a version, fill out the stuff and then post. And it will use the demo images, um, which we're going to look at. So basically you can choose which epoch you want. So you can choose which epoch you want. Um, it's going to automatically choose the one which it thinks is best. I mean, so far it's been correct. I wanted to really show people what you can get with just defaults. So uh, taking a look at this, this is epoch 10. So if you wanted to publish the model publicly, you can obviously click publish. You can click download all here. Um, and I think that's, is that all of the samples? No, there's more of them. Um, you can... Oh, is it all 10? So you can download all 10 epochs here. Um, I just download the best one with the button here, download, sorry. That looks pretty good. So what I've done is I've downloaded these and you put them in your models Laura folder. Uh, so let's go back and have a look at the assassin. And again, it gives us all of the epochs and it gives us this one, epoch 10. That's the one I'm going to take. So I'm going to download that. That gives us two models to throw into Comfy. And I guess you could create post. You could post it, like I said. I'm not going to. Uh, these images are pretty good, actually. So, um, like I said, I'll put the models on their relevant pages because I already have model pages for these because those are obviously my test models. So there'll be a new version going up on the Assassin Carb and then I'll put up the decor model as well. I think I've been meaning to do that for a while, actually. Probably need to just get some more sample images. Let's have a look. Yeah, we never did it. But yeah, it means we've got something to compare because obviously I can, I trained the model in Cascade, SDXL, and also in uh, uh, with one trainer and then also in this. So uh, something to compare. All right, so look out for that upload. That'll be coming probably. I'm probably going to do that, so it should be ready. Link in the description, most likely. So again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.